Okay, this video is about memory reconsolidation, the science of it and why it's so important for our physical and emotional health. It's part of a talk that I gave at the Canada EFT Tappers Gathering in 2013. But let me just explain a discovery that happened around the year 2000 that I think is completely related to what happens in EFT and I believe in many of the different modalities where we watch and experience healing either for ourselves or for others. And the discovery was called memory reconsolidation. And up to that time, they thought that, you know, the little frying pan incident would always be there. So that for the rest of your life, you know, when you were cooking with cast iron, you were tense. <laughs> right? I mean, we store these things up. Like Claire says, we go to school, you know, you go back as a parent and you're tense again because you've got these stored peptides from those experiences. We all have them and they shape our lives and we live in reaction to them. And I do a lot of work with people with fibromyalgia and it's not for everybody, but for many with fibromyalgia, there's a high level of stress and anxiety and reactivity to the things of the world. The things of the world store as a chemistry in our lives. Now we all have those things stored, whether or not we have fibromyalgia. I just happen to work with that group of people. The discovery was that before that time we thought these were permanent. After that time, in laboratory experiments, they discovered that you could actually replace that peptide such that people didn't have those memories anymore in the same way. And at first they did it by injecting peptides in rat brains. But there's actually been some studies now, behavioral studies, and even a few studies with um, human participants. And what they used was just small shocks for the traumas, you know, very small, didn't hurt the people. And then you would see if they could go away. It turns out, so did everybody identify something that wasn't calm at the beginning of the session? I'm going to assume y'all did. You, you activated this. And now for the next four hours, if you do a certain process, you can replace that with a calm molecule. Such that it will be calm henceforth for the rest of your life. That's remarkable. That is fundamentally remarkable. Imagine that that's what's happening in our brain. We have access to that, but hardly anybody knows that we have access to that. Because hardly anybody knows about this phenomenon called memory reconsolidation because they're injecting a little chemical in rat brain. Right? <laughs> it's not like Gary Craig has come out and shared all of this with everybody. Right? And all of a sudden we're doing it. How do you replace it? Well, one way is with a little shot in the rat brain and you'll do the dissection and stuff. How else could you replace this? <laughs> yeah, you can tap. It turns out that this becomes active and in, at least south of the border, I'm sure you're not that way here, but in the United States, we are always looking forward towards the goal. Right? I bet it happens here too. <laughs> so, let's say you're upset about something. Something your kid did at breakfast, or something you're going back to a really big issue in your life, right? It's still big, even though it happened when you were six. Right? Many of them, large proportions of us, have things that continue to impact us later on that came in childhood. So you go and you become a member of a yoga group, and so I'm just giving an example, and you go and you feel much better. And then you go forward. And then tomorrow, you feel terrible about that thing that happened when you were five years old, and you go to yoga, and you feel much better, and then you go on with your life, right? That's very, very typical. There is nothing wrong with that. But EFT is actually doing something different. And I've modified my method so that it's this exact thing. <coughs> Okay, so this is the science of the ICE method, or at least an introduction to it. 
and it's why I believe that EFT works uh, when it's working and, and also why I developed a technique that was based specifically on uh, memory reconsolidation, which I call the ICE method, and which we're going to look at in the next part of this talk that I gave at the Canada EFT Tappers Gathering 2013. Hope you're enjoying it. Thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you.